Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey, look, it's Daniel. Hmm. You suck. How does that not break every bone in your body? What the fuck? For the love of Stan Lee. Transformers! Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Transformers figure. It's the Exosuit Spike Witwicky from Transformers the Movie in our Core Class Studio Series line. And I found this figure down in Columbus, Mississippi, actually, on a road trip. Uh, first time I've ever seen it, and they only had two in the store, so I had to pick this guy up. I love Transformers the Movie, and I mean, it looks pretty decent in comparison to the film. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have a spike in the packaging, and I mean, it's not too terribly bad. We've got a uh, spike up here, some artwork, Transformers the Movie logo, open box, which I hate, and we've got all the logos down at the bottom. There's some artwork of Spike, more artwork of Spike. So just kind of a close-up. There he is in the exosuit from the movie. There's the cartoon movie logo. Very cool. There he is in the package. Exosuit Spike Wit Wiki. Very cool. Transformers the movie. Yeah. I wish they would have painted his face, like the eyes and the mouth, but uh, yeah, kind of a minor gripe. There he is in the back in both modes, robot and vehicle mode. And really, that's about it for the package. Let's get this guy out of box and see what we think. So here we have Spike out of the packaging, and it's not too terribly bad. It's a lot better than what we got with that uh, Target 2-pack with Bumblebee. That's for sure. Uh, it's a bit more articulated. There are some surprises in the articulation on this for me, and some things I wish they would have done a little bit better, aside from the paint on Spike's face. I think the arms could have been articulated a little better. We do get some accessories. So these are blast effects slash thruster effects, which is kind of interesting. So we've got the, the blaster that can flip around on his arms, just like in the movie. And you can put these blast effects on there, which is pretty cool. I do like that. They also function as little thrusters in a vehicle mode. So you can recreate the scene where, well, it's actually Daniel that blasts the... Uh, lid down on the pit in Unicron, but uh, yeah, I guess you can get two of these and have one as Daniel and one as Spike. So yeah, as far as articulation goes on this figure, uh, there's a hinge joint at the shoulder. It does move up and down as well, as well as in and out. Um, this of course spins around, but that's for transformation. Um, but we do have another shoulder joint, but again, that's for transformation. Nothing at the waist. Uh, the head. Uh, well, this piece moves around, it transforms, but there's a button back here. This surprised me that you can flip back and forth, and that turns the head of Spike inside the suit. So that was really cool. I did like that. Um, now if they just painted it. Let's kick that far forward. They kick back all the way. They splay out like that. There's a, a knee joint right there. And it also twists, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's uh, really about it for the articulation on this guy. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, it's sculpted really well. I do like it. I like the jetpacks on the back. I like the paint on the front of it, the yellow and the white. The grays all look good. I think the wheels were gray in the movie. I'll have to go back and look. Uh, the biggest drawback is the face. I don't know why they don't paint the face on the human figures in Transformers. They could have easily put some eyes and eyebrows and, and painted the lips on here. You know, give it a G.I. Joe look. Uh, it could have been very simple, but uh, it just looks very, very lacking. And that's probably the worst part about the figure, in my opinion. 
looking at the lower half of the figure, again, sculpted well. I wish the arms had a little bit more articulation, but it is the kind of weird, funky exosuit. Um, been nice if they had a twist at the waist, but uh, alas, they do not. Sculpt looks good all the way down. It's a little hollow in the back of the legs, um, and that's not for transformation, really. It's just kind of there, and that's a bit disappointing. And uh, it stands really well. I will give it that. And uh, it, you know, it looks like the exosuit from Transformers the Movie. For comparison, here we have the Core Class Exosuit Spike Witwicky from Transformers the Movie next to the Core Class G2 Megatron. And as you can see, Spike is a little bit shorter than Megatron. Overall, plastic might be about the same. Spike might be a little bit less, but uh, yeah, he works really, really well in the Core Class, I think. Transformation on this figure is a lot less complicated than the instruction show. So the first thing you want to do is flip the little cone head around to block the face. And then what we want to do is twist the legs around backwards like this. And then we're going to flip the shoulders sideways like this so that the wheels are downward on his chest. You can clip the feet together, but they may come unclipped, so be aware. And then we're going to flip the legs backwards. There's a weird double joint in the hips. So it's gonna look like you're gonna take it like this. And then we're gonna flip it. There we go. I can get it on camera. So flip it back like that, and then you may have to reattach and then flip the knees downward like this. And then these will probably come undone. Snap these together again. So that's how you fold the legs up like that to line up with the bottom wheels. Then you're going to fold the arms in and up and around like this, and then spin the forearms around. So again, up and around like this. We'll kind of clamp into place, spin the guns around. So yeah, the shoulder bits will kind of clamp there, but not really. And that's really it for the vehicle mode. It rolled really, really well. I will give it that. And then you can take the blast effects, put them on the back to turn them into thruster effects, just like this. Straighten everything out, and here we have him, fully transformed. So here we have Spike in his exosuit vehicle mode, which he never uses in the movie, it's just Daniel. But uh, yeah, it's not too terribly bad. It rolls, like I said, really, really well, surprisingly. Um, looks pretty decent. I wish the head kind of faced forward like it did in the movie um, when Daniel transformed, but uh, overall it's not too terribly bad, especially for a core class figure. Um, I like the little jetpacks back there as well. But yeah, a decent little alt mode for the exosuit. So is the exosuit Spike Witwicky from Transformers the Movie Core Class Studio Series figure, something that you want in your Transformers collection. Well, this could be an easy pass for a lot of Transformers fans. I think kids will like it because it's a little human and a robot. Uh, it's relatively easy to transform. If you are a G1 fan, a Transformers the Movie fan, this is definitely something that you're going to want because we never had this figure when we were kids, so it's really cool to get an actual transforming version of the human characters in the exosuit. I'm surprised we didn't get a Daniel, maybe a smaller version. Maybe they'll make a smaller one to go with or something. I guess you could use two of them because the face is so generic that it could either be Spike or Daniel. But uh, yeah, it, you know, it, it, it's okay. That's the worst part of the figure, in my opinion, is the lack of the paint apps on the face. And with that cone, I don't even know if there's a way to get in there and uh, actually customize it. So if you're a customizer and can do this, leave a link. I would love to see that. But overall, I'm happy with it. It was $10 and it transforms pretty well. So there he is, Spike Witwicky in his exosuit from Transformers The Movie. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. 
If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.